certain neighborhoods in Austin are leaving the city limits. Residents voted this weekend on one of six disannexation propositions. Fox 7 Austin John Krinjak has been following this story and he's joining us in studio with the results and reaction. John. Hey Mike, yeah, some really interesting outcomes here. We saw one neighborhood voting overwhelmingly in favor of disannexation, another soundly rejecting it. In the end, three out of the six areas voted to break away from Austin. We've lived here since 1989, and uh, it just felt like its own neighborhood. I feel like an Austinite. I feel like a resident of Austin, Texas. Three outlying neighborhoods will soon say bye-bye to the city of Austin after voting to disannex in Saturday's elections. They were brought into city limits nearly a decade ago, but new legislation allowed residents to decide whether to stay or go. In West Austin, Lost Creek voting 91 to 9 percent in favor of disannex annexation. Blue Goose Road in Northeast Austin also voting to leave the city as well as River Place out parcels in Northwest Austin. But Lennar at Malone in South Austin voting 98 to 2 percent to stay in city limits. Moreland Edition in South Austin and Wild Horse in East Austin will also remain in city limits because no one voted. Here in Lost Creek, this neighborhood's days as part of the city of Austin are numbered, and residents I spoke to say that's fine by them. Well, I was so delighted. The issue was that we were not getting the services that we we're paying in our tax money. Once their debt to the city is paid off, residents of disannexed neighborhoods will no longer pay Austin property taxes, though they'll still pay school taxes. In return, they'll lose city services like trash pickup, and they'll switch from Austin Fire to a Travis County Fire District. ESD 9, we will have a fire station that's a lot closer. And the Travis County Sheriff will handle law enforcement instead of APD, a change many in Lost Creek welcome. We were having break-ins. We weren't even getting anyone showing up. We actually had to hire an off-duty county sheriff guy to patrol the neighborhood. But in the Malone neighborhood, the outcome and the reaction are much different. I was pleasantly surprised to see by what a large margin we voted uh, against it. <laughs> Many here relieved to know nothing's changing. And I'm glad that we're going to get to keep a lot of the services that we've uh, come to appreciate from the city. And honestly, I'm glad that we get to still just use Austin, Texas as our address. Back in Lost Creek, residents admit there are some unknowns, but they're optimistic. We did it before and we can do it again. We're going to call it Lost Crexit. And Austin City Council will meet on May 14th to certify these results. As for the time frame on all this, the disannexation process, we're told, will be gradual, with certain services phasing out sooner than others. Live in the studio tonight, I'm John Krinjak, Fox 7 Austin News.